<laughs> Did you honestly think you could hide from me, sweetness? That's right. It's me. The girl you claim to love, but then abandoned when she asked a very simple thing of you? I was expecting you to either kill my boss or get caught trying, but running away. That was something I didn't think you capable of. How could you just abandon me like that? <laughs> no, no. You did abandon me. No phone call, no letter. You just vanished. For half a year. Six months you were gone. I don't know if something had happened to you. I was so worried. So I left my entire life behind to look for you. And what do I find? <laughs> you. Setting your sights on another girl? What? Was I not good enough for you? Oh, it's not like that, is it? Then explain why you were following her. Are you trying to replace me? Liar. I've been following you for the past week. You're pulling the same shit you did when you had your eyes on me. Following her, breaking into her house, taking her clothes. You think you love her. Don't you? Well, it doesn't matter if you do or not. She can't give you what I can. I love you. I spent six months looking for you. If that's not love, then what is it? Obsession? <laughs> Oh, hi there, Kettle. Name's Pot. Have we met? Huh? What am I gonna do to you? <laughs> you make it sound like you don't want to be here, sweetness. You're happy to see me, aren't you? After all, what we had... That's not the type of bond that can just be forgotten. And it's certainly not the type of bond that can be replaced with some dime-a-dozen bitch. How was I able to find you? <laughs> I'll admit, it wasn't easy. When I realized you weren't going to take care of my little problem for me, the little voice in my head said, He probably just got cold feet. Everyone does, don't they? It's natural. You're asking him to kill for you. That sort of thing takes thought. But then, my other little voice, you know, the one who's slightly louder, it pipes up and starts to tell me, He left you. He's not man enough for you. He was content to let you suffer at work. He doesn't actually care. Now see, that's what my first little voice said. You were just scared to commit. And so you ran away to become better for me. I was ready to believe that. I wanted to believe that. That's why I looked for you. I wanted to find you and tell you that you didn't have to kill for me. That it was unfair for me to ask such a thing of you. But then, I find you swooning over someone else. And I realized you never loved me. Not really. If you did then you would have never taken an interest in that girl. Do you know how much you've hurt me, sweetness? To see just how easy it was for you to just toss me aside and forget about me? R 
Really? You never forgot about me. Then... Then why? Why go after this other girl? She... She reminded you... Of... Me? Oh... So you were too ashamed to face me again. And this girl reminded you of me? So you thought she'd make a good stand-in? Oh, sweetheart, that's so romantic! Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, well, now I feel bad. Why? Uh, well, I wasn't just going to let this walking temptation waltz through life unpunished. I thought you were trying to upgrade, not settle. So I may have overreacted a tad. I'm sorry, sweetness. Please don't be mad at me. It's just because I love you so much. I couldn't bear the thought of losing you to such a homely woman. Just look at it this way. I'm back now, so you don't need to worry about her anymore. Who cares if she's gone or not? <laughs> I'm all you need, right? Good. Well, it's pretty late. I think I'm going to turn in for the night. We'll discuss our future together in the morning. Am I going to untie you? Oh, no, 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 sweetness. Whether you were settling or not, the fact still remains. You tried to give your heart to someone else. That action needs a consequence. And this is your punishment. Until you can earn my trust back, you're going to stay down here, tied to this bed. <laughs> Be grateful I didn't stick you in a chair. At least this way your back won't start to hurt. Aren't I just the kindest? <laughs> I'm glad you agree, sweetness. I hope you have a good evening. I'll bring some breakfast down in the morning. Are eggs and bacon okay? Great! <laughs> Good night, my love. I'll be dreaming of you. Sleep well. I hope you realize how much I care for you, sweetness. I'm doing all of this for you. For us. For our future. And if you didn't want to be a part of my future, well then, that would be very unfortunate. Anyways, we don't have to worry about that. Love you, baby. See you in the morning. Hello, my little dollies. I'm Little Ragdoll, and I'm here to say thank you all for enjoying my content and helping my channel grow. I wanted to give a very special shout out to this week's Patreon plushies who have gone above and beyond to support me and help me create even more amazing content for you all. If you'd like to join my Patreon, you'll find the link on my profile as well as the link to my Discord server where you can chat with me and get to know the other amazing people in our community thank you again for allowing me to share my stories with you all. 
please don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of my weekly videos. And remember, stay safe, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.